The film began by telling the story of Vera who lived her days in a room. Vera was locked up there and was always monitored by a camera so that Marilia, the maid in the house could see her. At certain hours, Marilia would provide food and other necessities through a food elevator that went directly to Vera's room. The host in the house was Robert, he had a clinic in his house called El Cigarro. Robert was a researcher and plastic surgeon interested in creating artificial skin. In addition, Robert seemed to have an obsession with skin, it could be seen from the many nude paintings in his house. There was a large monitor in his room that displays Vera's movements in real time. One day, Robert who had just returned from work walked into Vera's room and brought her an anesthetic. But as soon as he entered, Robert saw Vera already wrenching her hand using paper. Robert quickly took her to another place for treatment. Soon, Vera who had survived was already sober and looked sad. When Robert was eating, Marilia brings him fresh animal blood. Robert went straight to his research room and went back to do the research that he always did. Robert was making artificial skin, and it seemed that his artificial skin was finished. Robert also put his artificial skin on Vera's body. After finishing, Robert did the testing by burning Vera's skin and putting mosquitoes nearby. As a result, Vera took a long time until she felt the heat from the fire, and mosquitoes did not bite her at all. After that, Robert announced the results of his research on artificial skin in a seminar, but there, he claimed his experiments were done on animals. After the seminar was over, Robert spoke with Jose, a president of the Institute of Biotechnology. In the talk Robert told the advantages of his artificial skin and also told that the research he did was already transgenetically from animal cells to human cells. Jose who heard it was surprised and said that Robert had done something illegal. Jose also forbade Robert to continue his research and threatened to report it to the scientific community. Upon returning from there, Robert visits Vera in her room. Vera asks if Robert wants to continue research on her again, but Robert says what he did to Vera was done. Vera seems happy and asks about her future, but Robert does not answer. Vera then starts to seduce Robert and invites him to have a relationship, but Robert instead avoids the invitation and leaves her room. The next day Robert talks to Marilia, and from that conversation, apparently Vera was not the first person Robert makes the object of the experiment. People before Vera always end up being killed or committing suicide. In addition, Marilia protests because Robert makes Vera's face very similar to Gal, Robert's deceased wife. Las historias se repiten. Porque te conozco como si tuviera parido. Shortly after that Robert left and Marilia had guests. The guest was Zeka, Marilia's son who hadn't seen her for a long time. At first, Marilia refused his arrival, but eventually, she let Zeka in. A little later, it was discovered that Zeka came there not because he missed his mother as he said, but because he was a fugitive from the police. Zeka then saw a monitor that showed Vera and was attracted to her, fearing that things would go bad. Marilia had a gun and told Zeka to leave. Es una película. Vete ya. But Zeka managed to grab the gun and tie Marilia easily. Marilia. Ontanta. After that Zeka looked around for Vera's room. After finding it, he then looked for the key to the room and opened it. When the room opened, Vera who was already alert immediately ran out, but Zeka managed to catch her. Vera had persuaded Zeka to take her out, but Zeka instead took her back to her room and raped her there. Soon, Robert arrives and was surprised to see Marilia who was tied up. After seeing the monitor showing Vera, Robert goes straight to her room and shoots Zeka to death. He then hugged Vera. In the evening, Marilia tells Vera that Robert and Zeka were relatives. Zeka was born to an ordinary person and has lived separately with her since childhood, while Robert was the child of the house where Marilia worked. Since the host's wife couldn't have children, they took Robert when he was born and said that he was their biological child. Marilia also tells about Gal who once ran away with Zeka but they had an accident. Zeka managed to escape, but Gal caught fire in the car. Hace unos 12 años. 
Sé que me hablaba como si me conocía. Tuvieron un accidente de coche. Robert manages to save Gal, but her condition was very weak and full of burns. Months later, Gal was getting healthier, but when she sees herself in the mirror, Gal was hysterical and falls from the second floor of her house. The event was seen by Norma, the daughter of Robert and Gal. From it, it seems that Norma's psyche becomes disturbed. After the incident, Robert seems to have started accepting Vera. One day they slept together, and just then, Robert had a dream about his past. In his dream, he was attending his friend's wedding with Norma, Robert always noticed Norma who seemed happy to gather with other teenagers, but a little later, Norma was nowhere to be seen and Robert looking for it outside. While looking for Norma, Robert saw the speeding biker, Robert also walked towards the biker's origin and found Norma who had passed out. Norma! Norma? Robert tries to resuscitate her, but when sober, Norma screams hysterically. After showing Robert's dream, the film turns to tell the story of an incident six years ago about a man named Vicente. Vicente's mother named Madre owns a clothing store, and Vicente works there to make clothes. In that store there was also Cristina who works for Madre. One day, Vicente attends a wedding and meets up with Norma there. They follow her friends to go out and eventually they walk in too. Norma seems to be an innocent girl and rarely gets along. When Vicente asks her to make out, she just obeys. Suddenly, from the direction of the party, there was a song that reminds Norma of her childhood, Norma then hysterical. Confused by what happened, Vicente beats her unconscious. After that, Vicente ran away. A few days later, Vicente who was working at Madre's shop suddenly wanted to leave. Vicente went on a motorbike and a car followed him. At night, when Vicente passed through a deserted area, the car that followed him began to hit Vicente until it fell. The person in the car came out and fired an anesthetic. Vicente was unconscious and woke up in a basement. His hands were in chains and he couldn't extricate himself. Vicente was only given water to drink and he was alone for days. <laughs> Madre, who had already reported to the police that Vicente was missing, got a call from the police and the police told her that Vicente's motorcycle was found under the cliff. The police also wanted to close the case of Vicente because he thought he was dead or escaped, although Madre insisted that Vicente was still alive, the police still decided to stop the search. The story turns to Robert who visits Norma in the hospital. When she sees Robert, Norma was frightened and hides in the closet. The doctor and Robert consider Norma to have been raped and traumatized, and Norma considers Robert to be her rapist. Doctor tells Robert not to visit her often. Some time passed, and Norma committed suicide by jumping from the window of her room upstairs. Back to Vicente, he was still locked up and only provided with water. One day Robert comes to see him and sprays him with water to keep Vicente clean. Robert then moved Vicente to shift to a more comfortable place. Vicente was always looking for a way to break free, but he did not succeed. Robert began to come and feed him often. No se vaya, por favor. Tenemos que hablar. One day, Robert shaved Vicente's mustache and beard, after which he drugged him and Vicente then transferred to his operating room. Sí. Si hubieras querido matarte, te habrías cortado la yugular, al menos lo habrías... Soon came the people who seemed to be doctors, Robert tells them false information about Vicente, and Robert makes up stories as if Vicente was a patient who came of his own free will. After that, they begin to perform vaginoplasty surgery. When Vicente came to his senses and found out what Robert had done, he was very surprised but couldn't do anything about it. Vicente was then placed in a locked room and always monitored for 24 hours. Robert started telling him to do the things he ordered, not stopping there. Robert continued to perform surgery on Vicente until his body and face became like a woman's. One day, Robert had Vicente wear special clothes, at which time Vicente took advantage of the opportunity to escape. Vicente managed to get out of the room, but Robert locked the door of the house using a remote control and Vicente couldn't go anywhere.
When pressed, Vicente then slashed his neck with a knife, and Robert quickly rescued him. After that, Vicente returns to life as the object of Robert's experiment. When it was fully female, Robert gave Vicente a new name, namely Vera. Robert begins to arrange for Vera to get used to being a woman, he gives Vera women's clothes and cosmetics, but Vera becomes angry and tears off all her clothes. Meanwhile, she uses her to write on the wall. Shortly after, Marilia came and became a maid there. Back in the present, Vera was no longer locked up, she even prepares breakfast for Robert. When he woke up, Robert asked her felt that he had talked a lot with Vera before going to bed, Vera confirmed and said they had made an appointment that Robert would never again lock up Vera. Instead, Vera promises that she will never leave Robert. Robert seems to fulfill his promise, he let Vera when going to go shopping with Marilia. Although Marilia had protested because she did not trust Vera, Robert assured her that Vera would not mess around, they went together. Robert who was alone outside the house was visited by his colleague named Fulgencio, he came to talk about the El Cigarro clinic, Robert decided to no longer use his house as a clinic. Fulgencio said that his team would rent the place even though Robert no longer works there, but Robert still refuses. After that, Robert enters his house but Fulgencio follows, Fulgencio then gives a newspaper in which there was a list of missing persons. One of those missing people was Vicente who went missing six years ago, and to this day his mother was still looking for him. Fulgencio claimed to remember that the person he used to operate with Robert was Vicente, Fulgencio then accused Robert of kidnapping him and conducting an attempted operation on his artificial skin on Vicente. Robert dodges and says that what he does was Vicente's wishes. Because Fulgencio kept urging him, Robert brandished a gun and told Fulgencio to leave. At that moment, suddenly Vera who had gone home shopping immediately interrupted their conversation and she said to Fulgencio that she was not kidnapped, Vera also confessed that it was all her desire to be a woman. Vera also shows her closeness to Robert, and Fulgencio leaves without saying more. Vera at that time saw a newspaper that displayed a picture of her when she was still Vicente, she was suddenly emotional and asked Robert for cigarettes to distract it. At night, when Vera sleeps with Robert, she asks permission to take something from below. Vera also goes and takes the item she was looking for, but Vera also puts a gun in a bag and takes it to Robert's room. After returning to the room, Vera pointed a gun at Robert who looked shocked. Robert said that they had made an appointment with each other, but Vera casually said that she was lying. After that, Vera shot Robert in the chest. <coughs> Marilia who heard the gunshots went straight to Robert's room with a gun. When she entered, she was surprised that Robert was already motionless. Vera who was hiding under the bed, immediately shot her and Marilia was killed. <coughs> After that, Vera went to her house. Upon entering the store, Madre and Christina did not recognize her, Vera also explained that she was Vicente, and Vera also told her everything she had experienced. Christina looked confused, but Vera recounted a conversation that only the two of them knew. <laughs> Christina started crying. 